Good evening, ladies. Today we are going to talk about cell signaling and mainly GPCRs. So we talked about signal transduction in class and we talked about cell surface receptors and we also talked about nuclear receptors. So let me skip to GPCRs. So there are different classes of cell surface receptors. There are ion channel linked receptors, G protein linked receptors, and enzyme coupled receptors. So today we will talk about the G protein coupled receptors. So activated G proteins can activate a target protein or an enzyme. So here's an extracellular ligand or the signal. This can bind to a GPCR in the cell membrane and this will cause a conformational change which will basically change the inactive G protein into the active G protein. And G protein activation can lead to multiple intracellular events through a variety of intracellular proteins. This is the basic structure of a GPCR. So it, they mainly have seven transmembrane domains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three intracellular loops and three extracellular loops. Uh, this is another schematic representation and you can see the seven transmembrane alpha helices, the intracellular loops and the extracellular loops and the GPCR is embedded within the lipid bilayer of the plasma membrane. So the signaling molecule or the first messenger binds to the GPCR. So the signaling molecule is in red and the GPCR is in green. So uh, what happens is that the GPCR activates the G protein which then activates adenyl cyclase. The adenyl cyclase then synthesizes cyclic AMP, and cyclic AMP is called the second messenger. So here, the first messenger is the signaling molecule. The signaling molecule activates the GPCR, which causes a conformational change in the G protein, which activates the G protein, and which in turn will activate adenyl cyclase, and this adenyl cyclase synthesizes cyclic AMP. And this cyclic AMP is the second messenger. The cyclic AMP, in turn, will then activate inactive protein kinase A. So here you can see cyclic AMP binding to the inactive pKa and activating it. Once activated, protein kinase A subunits can diffuse into the nucleus and phosphorylate a transcription factor called CREB. Once CREB is phosphorylated, it can recruit CREB binding protein or CBP and this entire transcription complex can then bind to the DNA and activate transcription of certain genes. And this transcription obviously leads to translation of proteins and will in turn elect a cellular response. So the signal is carried all the way through to the nucleus to switch on genes which will then cause a cellular response. So as I mentioned cyclic AMP is the second messenger. It conveys the signal from the first messenger or the ligand down to the downstream pathway to activate transcription. I also mentioned in passing the kinase cascade. So usually there's more than one protein kinase and each protein kinase is activated by a phosphate and it in turn phosphorylates the next kinase in line. So that's why it's called a kinase cascade. So PK1, protein kinase 1, is activated by cyclic AMP. Uh, it then phosphorylates PK2 
then pK2 will phosphorylate pK3, pK3 will phosphorylate pK4, so on and so forth, and will transduce the signal. So once the signal has been transduced and reaches the nucleus to transcribe a gene, the receptor, of course, needs to be downregulated. Otherwise, there'll be constitutive signaling, and we don't want that. We want the signaling to be switched on, and we also want it to be switched off in a normal cell. So there are different ways by which uh, a receptor can be downregulated. The receptor can be sequestered in the endosome and digested by the lysosomes. It can be inactivated by binding of uh, certain proteins, and also it can be inhibited. So that's basically how uh, receptor inactivation or downregulation, rather, occurs so that the signal is not constitutively switched on. And of course, we know in certain cancers or a lot of cancers, the signaling pathways are constitutively switched on, which results in abnormal cellular growth and division, which can lead to cancer.